Cleveland sports history. Hello, I'm Mike Polk. Welcome to Great Moments in Cleveland Sports History. The year was 2003. Everybody still loved Raymond. Fiddy Cent invited America to join him into club, and virgin nerds' lives were being ruined by the terrible sequel, The Matrix Reloaded. Meanwhile, here in Cleveland, the Cavaliers were still one year away from drafting above-average athlete LeBron James, and at the time had a powerhouse lineup featuring such NBA luminaries as Chris Mim, Jermaine Jones, and Bimbo Coles. And yet, despite this sterling lineup, the Cavs somehow only managed a record of 17 and 65 that year. However, in the midst of that lost season, something truly magical happened. One of the lone entertaining aspects of the Cavaliers at the time was a freakishly athletic walking cartoon character named Ricky Davis. Ricky never met a shot he didn't like, so he took all of them. And when he saw his chance to notch his first career triple-double one fateful March night, Ricky Get Buckets Davis, as only he referred to himself, totally went for it. The Cavaliers were at home wearing those jerseys from the 90s that looked like Gordon Gunn designed them himself. They had lost seven games in a row, which is not great, but on this night they somehow found themselves up 120 to 95 on the Utah Jazz, due largely to an uncharacteristically strong performance from Milt, no nickname because I don't deserve one, Palacio. That's when Ricky made his move. With just six seconds remaining on the clock, Davis had racked up 28 points, 9 rebounds, and perhaps most amazingly, 12 assists, apparently having lost control of the ball and accidentally passed it to his teammates 12 times. Ricky looked up at the scoreboard and knew what he had to do. Jermaine Jones inbounded to Davis, who, rather than dribbling out the clock like a gentleman, instead beelined to the wrong basket, gently tossed the ball off the rim, and collected what he thought would be his 10th rebound. At this point, Utah wing and fellow lunatic Deshaun Stevenson took offense to the fact that Ricky would attempt such a selfish move during a blowout and promptly shoved Davis like a rag doll. An inglorious end to a heroic attempt. But even though he was tragically not credited with a triple-double that night, Davis did receive the honor of a new nickname, Wrong Rim Ricky. This was a well-deserved title for a valiant display of selfish jackassery. And it was also a great moment in Cleveland sports history.